Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm happy to be here tonight. Although I have to admit, I'm a little bit stressed, but I'm sure you know how it feels. Like uh, my heart is racing, I'm sweating a little. Fortunately, I know exactly what's going on and I'll tell you. So right now, my brain is acting like there's a lion in front of me and tells me that I have two choices, fight or flight. And the opposite response would be rest and digest, which is from far my favorite. But since I'm facing a stressful situation, the part of my brain that controls fear activates to warn my hypothalamus that I'm in danger. And my hypothalamus, which is in charge of the stress response, acts by sending nerves impulses and hormones um, throughout my body. And so my body will mainly secrete two hormones, adrenaline and cortisol. And so adrenaline will be like, guys, we need to mobilize. First, increase respiration because we need as much oxygen as we can get. Also, increase the heart rate and raise the blood pressure because we need that oxygen delivered throughout the body. And on the other hand, cortisol will be like, we need to produce energy now, so I want all sugars and fat stored in the liver circulating in the bloodstream ASAP. Uh, the immune system should only focus on molecule we might need in case of an injury, all right? And the reproductive and digestive system can shut down. We need to focus on vital organs or we might die. So I know what you must be thinking right now. How inappropriate is this reaction in this particular context, right? So today, I'm urging you to notice your stressful emotions because chronic psychological stress can cause serious damages. The buildup of fat and glucose in your, in your bloodstream, constant state of inflammation, increased blood pressure, all of this can lead to serious physical and mental health conditions such as diabetes, depression, or even worse, a heart attack. And that's why it's so important to realize that you might be dealing with a stressful situation. And the first thing to do here is breathing. Take time to relax your heart and respiration rate and slow down all those processes by the simple act of breathing. And then try to understand what's going on in your mind, whether you're angry or stressed or happy, grateful, because psychology has a huge impact on your body. And more importantly, Eat well, sleep well, exercise, socialize, all of those things can dramatically reduce your stress level on a daily basis. And while you're doing all those things, don't think about your meeting tomorrow. Embrace the present moment. Thanks. <laughs>